Hi, my name is Rob McCluskey, and I study algebraic combinatorics at, in the math department at Lehigh University. My subject is a nice blend between purely algebraic objects, which interested me first as an undergraduate student and then still as a graduate student. But then once I was introduced to something called combinatorics, a way that you can make arguments using uh, basic counting arguments, the hybrid of the two make a very nice field, which we call algebraic combinatorics, which has applications to all sorts of different things. And in particular, uh, my work takes complicated, abstract, representation theoretic problems and converts them to basic linear algebra problems that are much more easily, easily computed. I came, I came because I, when I came for my graduate student accepted day here, when they had us host, I liked the feel of the environment and how the professors engaged with us or, and engaged with each other, as well as what, the, what basically the progression would be. They, made it, they laid it out very clearly to me that you know, what was expected of me, what, how, how much responsibility I have as a TA, opportunities to teach. Many of us graduate students get the chance to teach two or three classes at, towards the end of our career, which is very rare. Normally at graduate departments, you're stuck teaching college algebra at the most. But here I got the chance to teach pre-calculus, business calculus, uh, several different versions of calculus for alternate, uh, majors alternate to the STEM fields and things like this. The reason I like to teach is because I feel every single time I'm in front of the room forced to, or you know, Given the responsibility of presenting a topic to a, a bunch of students who have never seen it before, it encourages me and forces me to understand that material very well. And, and I hope that with a good enough explanation or a good enough lecture, I can inspire students in the class to also be interested in the subject material themselves and maybe pursue a little bit further, a little bit more math than they would have. Like one of my best experiences at Lehigh was doing a good enough job as a TA in a Calculus three class that I encouraged at least two different students to take up a math major when they might not have otherwise. And I was very uh, grateful that they told me later that it was, my, it was my being their TA that encouraged them to pick up that major. So at first, when you begin in graduate school in the math department here, the first couple years of classes, or the first couple years you're here, you take classes and you work towards passing a comprehensive exam and then later qualifying exams. Once you've taken enough classes by your second or third year, you try to get a feel for what your favorite interests are in the department. and with um, maybe from the teachers you maybe from the professors you've had in class or from professors that are adjacent research wise you aim to start working with one of the professors that gives you a good idea for a problem you should begin working on or at least gives you several different papers you first start reading to get uh, familiar with the subject matter and then uh, to work towards something and after you've worked enough with your advisor Typically, it's their responsibility to then provide you a question or two that you aim to go off and determine the answer to, or if you can find an answer, or come up with examples to, to dive, you know, to dive deeper into the subject and become an expert at it. And so your advisor is there to point you in the right direction along the way as you have questions, as you try to um, start answering difficult problems in math or solving difficult problems in math. They're there to sort of guide you when you get stuck or to discuss what approaches you might want to take uh, to solving those or, you know. And then also there, uh, some, other, some other roles they have are to make sure that they assist you with being prepared to give presentations in front of other people, uh, prepare you for your qualifying, uh, prepare you for your exams to uh, reach candidacy and then eventually defend your dissertation, which they help you, which they assist you in writing. As a graduate student, you'll, have, you'll be responsible for being a graduate student TA, where you'll likely be in a class, one of several sections of uh, several calculus sections where you will help hold recitation for you you'll there'll be an 80 person lecture that is broken into four different sections of about 20 that you will hold recitation for and present to them and review with them the material that was covered in class as well as grade quizzes uh, uh, write write in grade homework and then grade exams the department itself the department itself consists of professors of both focused on research and a few focused more on teaching I'd say it's we're again we're moderately sized and we have so many engineering students that it provides a lot of sections of calculus to be taught each semester. But also there's enough graduate students, a small graduate student population that allows there to be special topics courses run each semester. So the questions I'd have coming into this department are, given my interest in undergraduate school and what I think I'm interested in, which often changes once you're in graduate school, is there a professor or two that study the subject material closely related enough to mine where I'm gonna be interested in coming here? And the answer to those who are in graph theory or algebraic combinatorics, something more on the discrete realm is probably yes, because we have several professors that study each. There's also a strong 
There's also a strong focus on something called differential geometry for those who have a real interest in real analysis and uh, more, uh, more abstract of geometric objects. We also have new algebraic geometers in the department as well who might uh, be interested in, uh, you might be interested in working with.